welcome to the Rcast Podcast. You know, I really got to work on the name of this thing. <laughs> Rcast Podcast Podcast. There you go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of casts. There's a lot of casting in there. But, but uh, so we'll, we'll work it out. But anyways, yeah, it's also yeah. smooth. You know, yeah. yeah. So, so this yeah. is just the first episode. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, wow. You didn't know you were getting into that, did you? No, I didn't. But um, I'm flattered to be part awesome. of this. Well, so great. Great. Thank great you. Great to throw you into that one. <laughs> yes. Anyways. Uh, I'm Ty King, and you are. You can introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Karen Stewart, and I have a podcast production company um, here in Little Rock, or we have clients all around the world. Yeah, wherever you're at. Yeah, yeah and it is called <laughs> Power of Pod. Yeah. Um, if you're yeah. in Little Rock, it's in Little Rock. If you're anywhere else, it's, it's, <laughs> right. it's there too. It's there. Exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. You can use it in line. We're global. Right. Well, you're online. It doesn't really matter where they're at, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Uh, so you own a podcast mm-hmm. producing company. Is that what we call it? Or yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I've expanded. So I used to call it podcast production, but now I call it podcast production and marketing. Okay. Just because marketing is such a big deal sure. in terms of you can create the best content in the world, Good. but ultimately if you yes. don't market it and people don't know where I've it is. I've got lots of questions about that. Good. Okay. So oh gosh. We'll, we'll I hope I have lots that. of answers. Well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <It's> professional. <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> Nobody starts a business without being completely knowledgeable on every subject within that business, right? right? Oh, I've learned so they, much. They are the expert. Yes. No, yes. Yeah. Now, you learn a lot, then you find out, uh, for me anyway, I'm yes. like, oh, well, we do this. And then a year or two, three years down the road, and I'm like, okay, I don't know anything. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like sometimes you hit a, hit a roadblock. And you're it like, constantly God. changes. And even um, over the past month, I've gotten into a lot of the legal stuff like intellectual property yeah. because anyone can start a podcast oh, but there's yeah. a lot of legal stuff um, that you know some of which I knew about some of which I didn't so I'm going to take some courses on that too yes um, and just yeah become knowledgeable in all these different areas yeah so yeah for sure it's learning experience well thank you for joining me on yeah, the first episode I, I don't know if you know this but I'm not very super professional in that type <laughs> of thing so we're going to be kind of fast and loose with this and have some fun that sounds good good yes. good okay good no scripts here I okay, hate scripts yeah, and I'm just like no. it's going to come off the cuff and you're not going to be prepared for these answers okay the, the, the questions I'm going to ask okay I'll try Get to focus nervous yet? a little, little bit a little okay, bit nervous. I'm much better with a script because year, you know I, I have I know. years and years of yeah. practice with holding a new script in front yeah. of me um, but I will chill you've got a good you've got a good relaxing vibe so okay, that's good, good. and i will that. i will do my very best to answer your questions oh, yeah we need to put you under the heat lamps and so oh yeah that that changes that's how they do things. interrogations right exactly the, Whew, yeah <laughs> light on you yeah <laughs> okay so uh this being the first podcast and you being the first guest right mm-hmm. Uh, so we know that you have a production company and like, I guess we can just explain a little bit more about like what Arcast is as far as, you know, we're a podcast resource for podcasters by podcasters, mostly in Arkansas. And so that's what we are, you know, sort of targeting is, yeah. is all the podcasters in Arkansas. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I met you because mm-hmm. you have a podcast, you yes. live in Arkansas and that Those, you have put true. out. That is true. That is true. <laughs> and your podcast is even about something that happened in Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, Absolutely. do you want to talk about burden? Oh, always, always. Yes. Um, and breaking news, but just really in my world. Oh. Um, just oh. yesterday, we um, reached 200,000 downloads. That's great. So, yeah. thank you. Um, so, that was a big yeah, deal. Yeah, whoever's listening to that, that's from us. <laughs> do you yeah. get the, uh, uh, like the, the analytics on that and like mm-hmm. see who's listening to that? It, and it's the really neat thing is so. I assumed it would be all Arkansas. Like yeah. I just, I just did. Um, and okay. number one is always Texarkana, Arkansas, because that's where the the story is sure. from. But Little Rock is actually usually like number sixteen or seventeen, mm. and it's like Chicago and Dallas, really? and um, that's pretty cool. Because I yeah. didn't, you know, you hope a story will also resonate yeah. beyond the borders oh, of Arkansas. Sure. So yeah. Now, do you think like you're being uh, in the category of true crime? Do you mm-hmm. think like Chicago and places like that is because more people are listening to the true crime podcast? I think so. There, yeah? I, people are so interested in that category. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, yeah we we uh, we're fortunate to be in a category that people care about. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so tell us about Burden. What is Burden? Mm-hmm. So Burden is an investigative true crime podcast, and um, it covers uh, the suspicious death of Billie Jean Letterman mm-hmm. in 1991 in Texarkana, Arkansas. Yeah. And um, it started because there was a, a former journalist and 
attorney. She's not a former attorney. She is an attorney. She came to me and said, I've been looking into this case. I have mm -hmm. all this footage. Like she yeah. had beautiful video footage of everything. She did all this research <coughs> and she said, I don't know what to do with it all. Can right. you help me organize it um, and see where we go from here? And so I was really excited because I love organizing <coughs> content. Yeah. I love um, outlines of things, outlining the episodes, seeing how the characters come in. I, that's, that's my thing. I just, I love to do it. Um, and so we started working and originally I wasn't going to co-host um, she you know Stephanie Harris my co-host yeah, was yeah. my client right um, and oh, she, she was I didn't know that yeah okay. yeah that's how it started Wow um, and she picked a co-host who unfortunately due to personal reasons had yeah. to back out and at that point it was like I really want this story to be told I'll I'll do anything so I said Stephanie let me co-host and and I'll, I'll do this for free too and she said sure <laughs> so, um, and it's been great uh, I, it's been a privilege to be part of it that's awesome great yeah. deal for her you yeah, co-host and, so. <laughs> and not take any pay and yeah. probably market this thing and and yeah. and, and, and and well great yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. both things to work out over 200,000 you said dollars yeah. right now, so that's yeah. awesome thank you um, yeah pretty incredible yeah. so I mean so you and Stephanie so you, you have legal backgrounds uh, Stephanie right? does I have she, a background for I worked for the um, Arkansas Supreme Court, right. but in a communications position. And one of my, okay. so they didn't want a lawyer in that position yes. for a very specific pur uh, purpose. I'm gonna take a drink of water, I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's casual, right? Yeah. Um, so. I was just hoping it was water. Yeah, it is yeah. water. Okay. Well, you, you wouldn't know. <laughs> so well, I that's like that's a, why I have this bottle. Grenade or something, I don't know, mm -hmm. it's got a strange top to it. Okay. It is kind of a strange top, but. It was a free swag bottle, and I always free. love those. I, I will <laughs> take them any day. Exactly. So, yeah. What was the question? Uh, <laughs> you were in a communications position. Yes, she that's, was. that's yes. what it was. Um, so they hired me, and I didn't have a legal background, but they liked that because yeah. it was teaching civics in schools mm -hmm. and uh, to adults as well. Yeah. So I was, you know, the average person who had some media experience. I was a reporter for yeah. over 20 years. And so I, I have some experience in taking complex information and distilling it down uh, for the general public. And so uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful job. I, I really loved it. Awesome. So, so yeah. is the, the communications position, I, obviously you're interested in talking, right? Yes. So <laughs> is that what got you into podcasting or? Um, okay, so podcasting. So since I'd worked in a newsroom for over 20 years, yeah. there was something that I noticed in newsrooms. And this is in no way unique to the newsroom I worked in. It's going on okay. you know, across the nation, um, especially with the layoffs of journalists and not as much advertising revenue. Um, a lot of times newsrooms, to me, are the news according to like four people in the newsroom. And sometimes those four people you know, are white and there's no diversity there. Sure. Um, and then maybe you'll, you know, hire one person who represents the diversity, but you're putting a lot on them then to be like, okay, you're gonna represent that. Yeah. Um, so, because, and also journalists usually will pick topics that they mm -hmm. really love, which is great, but you know, they're kind of sure. like honed in on, yeah, on yeah. certain topics rather than like, sure. yeah. So we try to expand our, our contacts, our Rolodex to use a really old ancient term. Um, but I it just felt like there, there must be another solution and podcasting was it. Um, it represents the democratization, that word's hard to say sometimes, um, of media. And okay. so anyone can have a voice. You don't need a broadcasting yeah. network that goes out to 80,000 people. Right. Um, and I love that. So I figured, well, I have some experience in audio editing, in taking content, because a lot of people who start podcasting, they have a broad topic, but they're like, I, I don't really know what I want to talk about or who yes. I want to interview. And I'm right. like, that's right. great. Let me you know, give you some suggestions. Yeah. Um, so basically then, um, the podcast world has become, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm going to end my answer soon, okay. but the podcast world has become more competitive because mm -hmm. all these people got into it. So you do need some kind of edge um, to stand out in the crowd. Yeah. And my hope is that um, I can help podcasters, you know, be fine, like be a little more professional. I don't mean that in a demeaning way, but you know, a lot of people don't have sure. the experience. So, yeah. um, and so be an affordable avenue <coughs> to get the podcast audio and marketing and all those elements together. Yeah. So. 
careful with that A word, the affordable part. I know, I know. People are like, oh, I've got $5, can you help me? Exactly, so let me, affordable compared to big marketing companies. There you go, there you go, yeah, <laughs> for, compared to. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm glad you brought up like people don't know where to start and mm. like you help give them ideas because yeah. you know a lot even when we were going through the uh, the podcast convention last year and holding mm. some of the you know the workshops lots of people had ideas and like hey I've been thinking about starting a, uh, a podcast but uh, you know I've got so many things I want to talk about I just don't really know where to start and I was like well you really need to pick one because you can't just talk to everybody yeah. you can you can you mm. can be the Walmart of podcasts if you want to but I mean right. it's not really gonna be specific towards an audience and they're not really they're less likely to pick it up absolutely there's research um, on that too so you're absolutely right yeah. yeah for sure so have you seen that spotify or sorry anchor spotify owns anchor right mm -hmm. so they bought them in 2019 and so they've been rolling out all these different features uh and so we started off with uh being able to upload video onto uh mm -hmm. spotify we've started and then we went to uh like a wrapped like a spotify wrapped but for mm -hmm. podcasters mm -hmm. Have you seen those yet? I know. Like you reached yeah. this many listeners, you right. recorded this many hours. Right. So now they just released this week. Uh, it's a new tool to help people that are just getting started with podcasts, mm -hmm. and it's a podcast name generator. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And so I tested it out, and I was like, "This is going to be bad." <laughs> I have been so and? surprised. Okay. Because some of these are really good, and I want to listen to them now. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to get your your opinion. Sure. Why? Absolutely. <laughs> On what these are. All right, so the podcast name generator. So it'll give you the name of a podcast. Okay. But it'll also give you a little synopsis of like what it should be. Oh. And maybe who should host it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, so starting off. The name is Do You Like My Shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Each week, a new guest tells the story of their favorite article of clothing. That's neat. I would listen yeah. to that. Yeah. If yeah. it were, if the quality were good, um, I would absolutely be interested in that content. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Well, as long as it's like an interesting story. So I don't know, right, I don't right. Like a, yes. It's I don't want to hear about everything. You get pizza up at Goodwill, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Strong, <laughs> strong storytelling. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Well, this was on sale at Nordstrom. Um, <laughs> all right. Next oh, one. Okay. Public radio voice. Yes. Okay. Empathy, honesty, vocal fry. Each week, a new guest finds out if they have what it takes to master the smooth, endlessly listenable voice that adds context to our favorite songs. Oh wow! Well, I'm not. That's that makes me happy because if that's what public radio is associated with, and I certainly hope it, it would be, that's great. Yeah. So public radio voice. Yeah, okay. I can do that. I'm like, I don't have that radio voice. You know what I mean? I don't have that part of me. You also need like a complex name. Too. you know a lot of the reporters there's, oh, there's diversity yeah. and they have beautiful uh names i was always karen trico steward um and i started as karen trico but like it yeah. kind of aligned with everyone who uses okay. their real name yeah um, so, yeah. so you decided that using three names was going to make you a better <laughs> reporter um i kind of since i started with karen trico <laughs> okay i hope yes so like you know it's i'm Lourdes Garcia Navarro. I figured I, Karen Trico Stewart would be good. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That's close enough. Got I'm you. just nope, kidding. Nope, but nope. Yeah. We're past that point. Okay. So oh, just nice. Okay. okay. Nice. Uh, two acquaintances without much to, <laughs> much to say struggle to maintain oh. conversation <laughs> over an hour long weekly podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I would listen to one episode <laughs> just for the awkward, That's like it's, it's fun to kind of. serious introverts just yes. sitting that don't oh know each no. other. Yeah. Sitting behind a desk. I mean, you have to listen like at least once just to see what's up with it. Uh, of course. Um, but yeah, huh? Uh, what do you what do you what do you like what do you like to do? Yeah, um, I don't uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a couple more. So don't put "I love you" in the cover letter. Okay, a podcast <laughs> designed to help you prepare for your next job interview that inevitably <laughs> devolves into musings on the meaning of work. That's funny. I have um, written cover letters with the word love in it. I just have. Yeah. Um, to express my passion. Okay. Uh, yeah. Especially at but the end, like, like I, I would I love, love you. to. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, that could be a little creepy. <laughs> um, but I would love to um, talk to you more about this opportunity and what I can yes. contribute right, to your right, organization. Right, right, right. But no, not I love you. <laughs> it's a different kind of passion. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
No, okay, so I don't know this. I yeah. see this a lot. Is that just the symbol for a heart sideways whenever you have the less than sign and a three? I was I was thinking less than, like no less than three. What's no the No less than three is Maybe what I would think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> a, show about this, a show about the semiotics of modern communication and digitally mediated interactions. That okay. was very wordy. Yeah, it is. They could Lots do of syllables the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Semiotics of modern communication and digitally. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it at all. I would never name. listen to this because I'm like, I don't understand your. Right. It's one line, but right. <laughs> it's too many syllables. All right. Sven diagram. <laughs> that reminds me of Frozen. <laughs> Sven is not the name of the, uh, you know, moose. Of the what? The, he's not a moose. Oh, but and in Frozen. Uh, Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Sven diagram. <laughs> that's a fr- You're right. Sven like it it's that's just, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Every week, a guy named Sven. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Why do you specific? Okay. Interviews a stranger named Sven. That's funny. To see how much they have in common. They definitely need a content plan. Yeah, for I mean, sure. It's got to be more than than the name bringing them together. Uh, honestly. Yes, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I, I did a few earlier today. What? I know the RCAST website is back up. Beautiful. And so by the time you're listening to this, the, the RCAST website will be up. And I've got it. several posts on there today. Um, I was going to pull up a, the three that I did earlier then tested it out. One of them I actually want to listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I would listen to any of these, honestly. So here's one called Being Tall Isn't That Cool. Okay. A podcast that short royalty, <laughs> a <laughs> podcast by short royalty for short royalty, <laughs> that uh, destigmatizes life and dating for four or five foot something community. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Very specific. Yes, right. <laughs> I get very intimidated by tall people because I'm short. So maybe that yeah. this podcast would help me um, get a different view or feel more appreciated. Absolutely. So I don't know. Uh, the self-loathing comedian loathes self. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that could go. A comedian um, tells all and interviews industry peers in hopes that they'll do the same. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you in the comedy? The tragedy in comedy. You know, right. there's always like some, you know. There's usually like a, a right. tragic reason. Depression or something. Whatever right, is behind right, your right. smile. Yeah. 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 This is the one I really want to listen to. It's nice, nice, mean. Uh, three hosts, <laughs> three hosts. Two of them are nice. One is mean, and they review movies, products, music, et cetera, et cetera. Night, good cop, bad cop, but there's two good cops. Yeah. Is that what? Okay. But like two have like the silver lining type yeah. of attitude, and okay. the other one's just dark and cloudy. I think there's like a isn't there a ratio of like or when you're criticizing people, it's like, you know, you should say five good things and before you say the one bad thing or uh, something. I so don't know. It sounds good. Maybe though. that's a good ratio of like let's Possibly. look at the positive. Okay, I don't you know. yeah. But then there's like the I don't know, we're reviews, you know this. And so like when people can have fifty great reviews and then you get mm-hmm. one bad review and that's what <laughs> people remember. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So I don't know. Do you think you could market any of these? You think you could put any of these together? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, I say this, but they need a good content strategy. <laughs> I'm such a dork, <laughs> but um, they do. Like yeah. if yeah, so, but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. So you're talking about how you know marketing is is intertwined into what you do mm-hmm. in production and all this stuff. So yes. what what are you calling? Uh, there's different forms of marketing. So mm-hmm. what all do you include in your marketing? So uh, social media is really important building a website for a podcast specifically um, in terms of like having transcripts up there and there are many other things you can do to build um, SEO into the website search engine Mm -hmm. optimization so that when people search for a particular topic um, they're gonna find you and so that's that's a huge part of it Um, promo swaps and feed swaps are really fun where you use the community of podcasters you find um, a podcast that's like yours so similar audiences and you um you help each other out you have a promo you know you have a promo about them they have a promo about you um and those are that's usually uh very helpful so is it sort of like a you know this this podcast is sponsored by or would it be like hey uh while you're listening to this go check out this other Mm -hmm. podcast yes so it is um it's intimate because the host usually says um, or will say, and we're, we're doing a swap with Ozark's True Crime um, coming up on February 14th, because oh, cool. yeah. um, I feel those are, you know, very similar podcasts, yeah. Burden and Ozark's True Crime. 
Um, and it's a, it's actually a feed swap. So they're going to play our episode one, and we're going to play That's their awesome. episode yes, one. Okay. And with a real, I mean, like I approached them because I genuinely like their podcast. Yeah. Um, and said I think we have similar audiences, and so there's going to be an intro that is Stephanie yeah. and I saying like, "This is why you, burden listeners, might enjoy this podcast." Mm-hmm. So check it out. Um, and they're going to do the same for us. I haven't listened so. to them yet, but I did find them when I was like, okay, so my way of building up the database, because this doesn't exist yet, right? Mm-hmm. So well, it's all now. I just built it. Right. But a list of all the podcasts that are being produced inside of Arkansas. Right. So there's yeah. a, a few lists that were put together in 2018, 2019, yeah. but there's only like five or six different podcasts. And it's like oh, from the North, Northwest that. Arkansas papers put it together. Yeah. Or here's the... Here are five podcasts in Arkansas that are produced by women that you need to know about. Mm -hmm. And so that was in Soiree. And I was like, okay, well, I'm having to piecemeal all these things together. But I'm like, Lady Justice was featured, not to be. (laughs) What's that? I worked on it. So Lady Justice was. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. 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 It's. um, Lady women lady, justices ladies from, of justice or something like uh, that. It is lady justice women of the court women because there court, was a lady yeah, a yeah. lady justice podcast, but we really wanted to use it, so we gave it a little you know tagline. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, it's With for women state supreme court justices mm-hmm. from different states who came together to talk about civics. Yeah, um, and they all have their cool. own perspectives, and so that's the podcast I launched when I was with the uh, oh, Arkansas was it Supreme really? Court. Okay, so it was really fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, <laughs> I did not know that. But yeah, I found out about a lot of them that I'd never had heard of before. Mm-hmm. Um, I just went into you know Apple Podcasts and several other other streamers and be like, okay. Arkansas Podcasts, and then like some yeah. of these popped up, and I'd have to go do some research and be like, okay, because some of them just have like one episode where they interviewed somebody from Arkansas, so they mentioned it in their show right. notes, and that's right. why it showed up. Yeah. But the uh, yeah, so but uh, there's like there's over 120 that i have listed right now wow. i know there's more out there i just yeah. I, i'll need people to be able to send them in right, and right. let us know hey you're missing my podcast or yeah. i like this one and yeah. we can get it added to the to the database but yeah there's so many that are out there. Um, mm-hmm. you know, absolutely. S- some of them have been started with great intentions and then yeah. just abandoned. Um, right, <laughs> right, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, like, I really appreciate you starting, because I feel someone needed to, so I appreciate your sure. initiative, to starting a podcast convention mm-hmm. in Arkansas and to starting a database like this, yeah. because it's just really neat. And I hope to, like, I don't want to completely commit to this because I know... <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I think okay. would really grow the page yes. and the website is doing features on these podcasts. Yes. And maybe we do that more easily by, like, there are questions that we send everybody, mm-hmm. so it's not this complicated thing. Um, and then we feature, like, a, an Arkansas podcast every week or every month. It depends on how much time we have. Um, but that would hopefully draw, like, the Arkansas community. Yeah, I'm on the in. exact same thing. Lately, Let's I've been yeah. thinking about the same thing. Yeah, Cool. Sure. Okay. Uh, and thank you. You've been helping out with uh, the socials and, like, giving us some I great like Power of the Pod little... Uh, uh, <laughs> Marketing <laughs> tips. Nu- yeah, little <laughs> nuggets of, uh, of uh, knowledge to put out there. Because, I mean, a lot of people, like, we run into so many people throughout the day that are, like, I have the, the idea. Mm-hmm. I have been wanting to talk about this, but I don't right. know how to get started. Yes. But, like, I'm just like, there's never been an easier time than right now to get started. You know I mean? Yeah. We have technology surrounding us at all times. Mm-hmm. And, like, um, yeah. Absolutely. Even if it's not the greatest quality of something, you know, what I mean? like yeah. your, your laptop that you're using might be older and it has a, you know, the microphone's not as but still, right. you can use that to start growing an audience Absolutely. and then upgrade your technology along the way. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, but they don't really know about how to market their mm-hmm. their podcast. It's a complicated or thing. How yes. to distribute it? Which one is the right distributor? You know, when we went to the, the convention last year, everybody had a different answer. That's what I was I was fascinated yeah. by. Like yeah. everybody I asked uh, on that stage was like, "How do you get your podcast out?" Everybody had a different answer. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like in terms of the app they use, or yes, like, like the there was the f- there was the 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 two or three that use Anchor. Okay. There was well, like Bo Counts, who was using mm-hmm. uh, Twitch as his main okay. channel to record all yeah. his podcast, and then he was wow. live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, yeah. and at the same time recording it and then putting okay. it out as a podcast himself wow. as an RSS feed. Yeah, I mean, like, there's so many different ways of doing that. And right. Sarah with the right. uh, Archie Travels, she mm-hmm. was using something else like Pod. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but anyways. Yeah. And while I was okay. looking up the database, you know, the, building the database, trying to look up everybody's podcast, there was like a one, you know, everybody has like one homepage where their yep. it goes out. Like Anchor has their mm-hmm. page and then it has the links to your right. 
Apple Podcasts, Google, Podbean, yes. here's this, 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 this. Um, and so everybody's got something like that. There's something called mm-hmm. Listen Notes. You know what that mm-hmm. is? Yes. I had never heard yeah. of that before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's just one of the many, like, when you launch a podcast, you should submit your RSS feed to various players. Apple Podcasts is um, the number one in audio. Yeah. YouTube is the, the number one overall. Like, yeah. people find podcasts on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, which is kind of strange to me, but that's where Not we're sure. headed. That's why, we record, that's why we're recording video <laughs> exactly. right now. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're very smart and up with the industry trends and sure. <laughs> all of that good stuff. Um, but Listen Notes is one of the, you know, you should go there, get an account and submit your RSS feed. Yeah. And there are like, you know, 20, I mean, even like 30, like you can submit your RSS feed to whomever you want mm-hmm. and it just helps you grow. Okay. Way. So. Yeah. So even if you were saying, even if you have signed up, let's say Anchor, which is like mm-hmm. one of the most popular ones. Yeah. It automatically distributes your RSS feed to, to many different uh, like podcasting catcher catchers, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But right. you're saying you need to go ahead and take your RSS feed and add it on to other places. Like wh- where would you suggest? Yeah. So, um, so your hosting company gives you an RSS feed, yes. right? Yeah. And then it's up to the podcaster to submit that RSS mm-hmm. feed to various. So like you're not automatically going to be on Apple Podcasts. You have to sign in to Apple yeah. Podcasts for creators and submit it. Same with Spotify. Same with everything, really. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not just going to be on Listen Notes. You go there, you create a Listen Notes account and say, this is my RSS feed. Yeah. Um, so you have to take an active role in finding okay. all of those apps and submitting That's your RSS feed. Thank you. That, that taught me something right there. I was so, like, okay, I need to submit our RSS feed mm-hmm. to Listen yeah. Notes. Yeah. I saw that if you had done that, and I was like, I don't even know what this is. Right. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Good to know. Um, also, we have an astounding number of sports podcasts centered around the Razorbacks. And mm-hmm. I'm like, That's Arkansas. That is Absolutely. Arkansas. Absolutely. There's a large audience for that one. The, yeah, the largest uh, categories uh, yeah. as far as, like, number of podcasts we have in each one. Sports. You know what mm-hmm. the other one is? Mm-hmm. Churches. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So. Sports and churches. Arkansas likes its, <laughs> likes its sports and that churches. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, first and second Emmanuel of Fourth Street in Bentonville, Arkansas, yeah. on the third Wednesday. That's too long of a title for one. Right. And also, not every church needs their own podcast. Their own but podcast, you know, yeah. whatever. It's, right. It's free, and you, you can use yeah, it. Yeah, I know. During COVID, there were when people couldn't, you know go to church and be together in person. Sure. There were a lot of those. Well, they got that favorite pastor they got to hear. Him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Weekly, no matter what, whether yeah. it's podcast or in person. Sure. So. Um, yeah. So that's been uh, uh, kind of eye-opening to me as far as uh, how that goes. Absolutely. So you being the expert of putting mm-hmm. out the the podcast, you're like, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> cringe at the word <laughs> expert. You're an expert. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you being the expert of putting out you know podcasts for people, you're editing, mm-hmm. you're producing, you're um, putting these podcasts out there. Yes. Uh, is there anything that you're noticing? Because I, I know you know you pay attention to the demographics that are listening to the, mm-hmm. the majority of Absolutely. these podcasts. Yeah. And so is there like a I don't know is there a major trend or something? Who is the, who who is listening to podcasts? Who is listening to podcasts? Uh, younger people okay. and um, there are different ways well this was on advertising it was something that I was listening to today mm-hmm. like you have to have different approaches in terms of sponsors and advertisers yeah. based on your audience sure um, but mostly younger people are um, but older people are as well so there's a, an annual Triton Digital comes out with an yeah. annual report on who is listening Saw that. and um, yeah which used to be for Triton Digital used to be for radio, but then they, you know, expanded. oh, I didn't know that. Kind of like yeah. Nielsen used to be for exactly, TV and then, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And now it's like we yeah. got to keep up with with what we want. <laughs> right. So yeah. Um, yeah, Spotify, you know, put out their report. I was reading that earlier and writing up the article for uh, Arcast on it, but um, they were saying you know the majority of you know since 2019. Uh, Gen Z has been on an upswing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and basically, this this report that they put out, you, you're looking at it now, but it's like it's very uh, it's very colorful, right? It is very. It is colorful. not black and white. Just here are the cold, hard cold numbers. No, no, no. Yeah. This is meant to to, to speak to somebody, but it's yeah. uh, mainly for advertisers and what they're mm-hmm. trying. It's what they're trying to appeal to is like if you're trying to advertise to the podcast space, we would love to talk to you. But here's who's listening. Here's who the yes. market is. And so that's what they're saying is that the uh, Gen Z is on a rise. You know, they've been o- over 60% they've growth since 2019, but now they take up the majority share of the market worldwide. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I was thinking earlier, even while I was writing that, was it's so crazy. So these are people that were born between 2007 and 2012. Um, so 
they how they interact and how they work out their own personal experiences is very different than you or I. Yes. Uh, we grew up in a different time. They most of these people were born in houses that already had iPhones and Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. So like being in constant mm -hmm. communication was always a thing for them. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them. This is depressing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say something like not depressing after this, and it'll bounce. Ha okay, out. okay, okay. <laughs> Half of these people, yeah, in Gen Z, were born. Uh, well, so like like right now, they could go online and look up their baby photos on Facebook so from the original posts yes. that were taken on the day that those photos were taken. And there, there are like there's a big debate you know on that as well it's like as parents what are you doing yeah. to your kid kind of thing but yeah yes, there's yes. no break out the photo album it's just yeah. log on and, and see right. and dig up old and posts yeah and sometimes you kind of you know make fun of your kid but in a kidding way and then it's like yeah. the kid probably <laughs> like oh great thanks mom <laughs> for posting that picture uh, so, so i try to limit it <laughs> just me <laughs> so what this report really harps on is mm -hmm. um how you know they interact differently but how they've really forced podcasters to change the way that we record mm -hmm. and that it's not just a one-way conversation anymore it's a two-way interaction and yeah. relationship yes and especially when you have you know i thought about like the you know patreon and, and different platforms where you can support the creators and it's the fan creator right. relationship absolutely so, yeah um what is your what is your experience behind that um, behind Patreon Any specifically? Yeah, well, not specifically Patreon. Well, staring, like so looking at this report, um, and it was last year's report, and mm -hmm. so we're talking about Gen Z. Yeah. Um, there was one, and I mean, like, not this most recent report, but the one before that. Um, I found it interesting that Gen Z, a lot of Gen Z says, like, I want podcasts with a specific slant that's probably not the the best word but like i want to seek out this information yeah. and then i want to determine what sources are credible and then i want to form my own opinion whereas you know a long time ago we had the nightly news and that <laughs> that told us what we needed to know about life um yes. and so i think i i like that general sentiment in terms of like i'll seek out who i think is credible sure um and do it and a lot of um Gen Z, the Spotify report also said yeah. that they will support specific reporters. So they see certain reporters as credible rather than like yeah. everybody at that news right. outlet is great. So th that's a really personal relationship. It is. So yeah, that's very interesting to me. I would um, say they probably listen to voices that they res resonate with them too. As right. Not, not just factual, but that's incredibly yeah. important now. But, I mean, it's been <laughs> that's an also a daily point of our life where it's like, okay, is this real? Because mm -hmm. you hear thousands of comments, especially on Twitter, Facebook, and social, and it's like, all right, let's fact check this. <laughs> because yeah. you never yeah, know. Yeah, scary. Sounds yeah. real, but I don't know. Let's look right. it up. Right. Um, so they th have to do the same thing with, with podcasts. I mean, this is a, yeah. a, a, the Wild West pretty much. I mean, we, we could say and do it. We have freedom of speech. We could say, yeah. do anything on, on a podcast. And, uh, you know, we could sell it as truth if we wanted to. But like, it's really up yeah. to the listeners to be able to look it up and say. Yes. I could have lied about everything I just said on this report. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> scary. It had you go home like, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, the report. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> but, no, that's, that's kind of scary so there's a lot of information out there mm -hmm. i see that as a good thing people really have to be careful with the sources yes um and verify like you said like you can verify things not just take things as face value it's always yeah. hard when there <laughs> is one post on social media and like you know hundreds it of is. people share it yeah. it's like well that originally post was not um factually accurate <laughs> and then people are like outraged by this thing that's not even real right so it's yeah it's interesting. How, how do you interact with the, your listeners, or how do you recommend your clients how they interact with their listeners? Um, I think it is good to do a survey of the market um, because it's different for every yeah. client and what their topic is. So, um, and also, so general things, I do believe, when, like with social media, you should pick two channels and really do them well. Mm -hmm. I, I see a lot of podcasters automatically like oh I have to be here 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 and here and um, my personal approach to that is um, quality over quantity yeah because you can get you can drive yourself crazy all day long saying I have to be everywhere um, so yeah that's that's one of my my biggest things is quality over quantity when it comes to social media sure um, 
And then I was just having a conversation with a potential client the other day, and he was like, oh, there's so much to do. Um, you know, I have to, like, every time I have a new episode, I have to post. And I said, well, how about we, like, set up some automation stuff so that you're not so overwhelmed? Yeah. Um, and you can, you know, that's a, a basic thing. When you publish an episode, you can link it to your newsletter, and there's, you know, into your social media. Mm -hmm. So there, there are automated ways. It doesn't have to be like this is, <coughs> this is going to take hundreds of hours. <laughs> yeah, um, you can yeah. find some creative ways to save money and <laughs> valuable time <laughs> and still be successful. For sure. So, yeah. Uh, and so I, I support several people on Patreon. And mm -hmm. so, like, one of my favorite things is, like, when one of the artists I follow or even podcasters, you know, it, when you subscribe at a certain tier, you're like, you'll get these yeah. video notifications. Of like, hey, I'm going live mm -hmm. in about an hour. It's just going to be people that are subscribers on uh, Patreon. Yeah. We'll just hang out and talk. And so I was yeah. able, like, last night, I was talking to one of my favorite artists and, like, just chatting. And he was that's like, hi, cool. King, you're here. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. so cool. That's it is yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I, I don't know, there's, there's another part of that where, mm -hmm. you know, some people offer different tiers inside of, uh, inside their Patreon where it's like, well, you get a, a private, a shout out mostly, you know, I mean, you're, 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 yes, you're counted right. as a producer, you're getting a shout out, those, mm -hmm. those are fine, I think, but then some people have uh, opted to be like, well, if you live close enough, we'll go grab a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel comfortable with that. That's yes, that's weird. what I was going to say. Uh, that's is quite that a, a connection. Good idea You're really not? connecting with the listener. Right. There. Um, um, well, we're, we are in Arkansas. We're very, uh, we got that southern, uh, I don't yeah. know, hospitality thing, right? Right. We right. want to know who we're talking to. And sure. we want to, you know, a, a lot of us still want to meet people in person and be face to face. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying you wouldn't recommend. Uh, offering a face-to-face -face meeting with somebody just because they paid for a certain tier to um, so podcast. So I'm a woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it kind of scares the idea of yes. meeting up with someone you don't know. But podcasters, I understand an intimate relationship, etc. Yeah. But I'm very, you know, protective about like. So gotcha. as the podcast creator, like you would not really know who you're meeting up with. Exactly. So if my clients are like, I want to start doing this, mm -hmm. I'd just be like, well, be careful, especially if they're female clients. Like I'm just, yeah. you know, yeah. saying like what I what well, you I host think. a true crime podcast. You know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I have a certain way of looking at the world, and exactly. it's protecting yeah, people. For sure. <laughs> so well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's like to make you hyper aware of what's going on. It's like, oh no, you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. You know. And that's a lot of time spent too. If yeah. you're really like um meeting like what what's the charge there um i know like in in media certain hosts like people could pay to go to lunch with certain big you know sure. reporters or whatever yeah. so that's a thing um that's a lot of time it's a lot of time commitment too so i would tell clients like are you prepared to spend you know an hour of your day yeah. if you want to every day yeah and how much of a benefit is that right and are you seeing your podcast grow um, or are you just feeling weirded out? Or yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Analytics no, and you know impressions and seeing seeing yeah. what it results in um, <laughs> can be good. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, so from that, as far as like making so making uh, a return on your podcast, which mm -hmm. is not always the case, right? It's very rarely mm -hmm. the case, especially yep. here when exactly. podcasts are barely understood. Yes, like yes, they yes. are by the state. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you seen some good instances or have any good tips, I guess, for monetizing your, your podcast to make a return yeah. on it? Yeah. Um, so, for example, we run ads on Burden, um, and those are automatic. We say, you know, there's something called the pre-roll, so it's the ad that's in the beginning, then the mid-roll, um, and I think it's called the end roll, whatever, it's at the end. Um, and so dynamic ad insertion is what that is called. And okay. companies just say, I want to advertise on this podcast. They drop in automatically their ads. Okay. Um, and there are things with that that you have to be careful about as well. Um, and so we just kind of sit back and get, you know, paid, which is great. Yeah. And I say get paid, this whole project was for free. So yes. it's kind of like right. any money that um, reimburses that all of the, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. have we made money on the podcast? No. Right. Is it generating some revenue? Yeah. But, you yes. know, in context, it's, yeah. So to be clear on your advertising, which you were just explaining, you so you recorded sort of a short trailer uh, for your podcast, yes. right? Yes. I or recommend everybody do that. Okay. Yes. Yes. But yes. <laughs> uh, for many purposes. Yes. yes. Many exactly. Purposes. And then you submitted it as a yes. paid ad, and then that attaches to other people's podcasts? 
the, so you think the trailer I submitted, like paid for, no, or no, no. is what you're saying, or no, no, no. no? Okay. So how did this advertisement work? Because you you said mm -hmm. it's on the front or the back. I don't know what mm -hmm. you're talking about. Okay. Let's explain. <laughs> so for example, I we use yeah. a hosting company called yeah. Acast. Yes. I always call it Acast. It's a cast, and I always call it Acast. I don't know why. Okay. Um, but they have an option to submit your show, and you don't have to have a certain or any a certain amount of listeners which is really okay. good because for most of these things when you you know yeah. submit they're like well we don't really want you to work with advertisers until right. you have you know 20,000 uh, <laughs> downloads or something yeah. like that and some podcast producers can't reach that sure um, so we submitted burden and then it's open for ad buys in any company whether that's you know a uh, I'm trying to think. There are all kinds of companies. A car, there are a lot of like car companies that <laughs> have advertised on Burden, like just you know random. So okay. these marketers get an an account. There was and one they in particular because I listened to all the episodes. <laughs> there was one. I can't remember what it is now, but there was mm -hmm. one in particular that was like almost every episode that they were advertising yeah. on. Yes, so they can buy many different spots if they want to. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, and I learned about the spreadsheet where you can say certain categories. Okay. Please don't do that. Um, so yeah. yeah, it is interesting because that yeah. will. So it's been a trend in terms of people saying, "Okay, advertise on my podcast," and then you'll go to Apple Podcasts and see like you know 20 bad reviews and they're not about <laughs> the content course. it's like <laughs> these ads Hate these ads yeah. yeah or like there was one a true crime podcast and there was an ad on like yeah. to buy a gun which is just terrible but um are you serious or, i mean i shouldn't judge i'm just i think that that's not ideal it doesn't really fit um, the content mm, no. yeah, yeah don't do that um and like tobacco products and stuff yeah, um sure. but so yeah see who you're you're allowing to advertise so yeah for we've sure. had to go through the spreadsheet, Read through say, that spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah exactly like say not really yes not really yeah um so yeah. Well, same thing with any kind of agreement or contract absolutely. or signing. Just probably read through that. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. You're signing your life away. So. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so alternatively, um, you know, being able to monetize that because you've, you've accepted mm -hmm. ads, um, have you ever considered or do you ever recommend uh, like something like a Patreon or any even it doesn't have to be through something that's already like a, a platform that exists. It can be through your right. own website or b like right. offering for a paid version of your podcast without mm -hmm. ads. So I would say definitely actually go through a platform that exists because of all of the mm -hmm. headaches or work is really what I mean. Sure. All the work that it's going to take to set that yeah. up. Yeah. Um, there are many podcast hosts who have now set up the ability to, you can upload a file and say, this is for my subscribers only. Yes. Um, so go with that technology, use it, <laughs> don't build it yourself, because um, that takes a lot of time. It does. Yeah. So it's it's good to go with that technology. Uh, the subscriber model is, is where I think the industry is headed. It's what I see. One thing that I think is backfiring is that a lot of podcasts will... Uh, make the last, the final episode, and with true crime podcasts, that that gets really hard. Um, they'll make the final episode something you have to subscribe to, and so there okay. are a lot of podcasts actually that have gotten negative reviews. So it's like, get hey, like a huge you huge cliffhanger, uh huh, by going and up then to you're like, like the oh, penultimate I got episode, it. exactly, and exactly, like, pay for this final. Yes, yes. Uh, wow, I've never seen that before. Oh, it's so Crazy. annoying. But I did, I did pay for a final. Yeah. There was one that I just had to see. I forgot what it was, but um, yeah. So I, it worked, but I didn't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I did it, but I did not like yeah, it. Yeah, like I, I, you know, thought a little less of them or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and again, sure. I'm a democratization of media person, so I don't like putting things behind a paywall. At the same time, you got to get paid for what you do. You can't do it all for free. Sure. So subscription models are good. Patreon is good. It takes a lot of time is what I've learned yeah. um, with clients and with burden. It takes a lot of time to upload stuff. You got to edit videos if you have raw videos you have to edit that yeah of course it's a lot it really is right but if you can do it and you have the time you have a stable audience people subscribe to the show right. pay five dollars or ten dollars a month um and that's nice and that's very helpful but my goodness with patreon all of my experiences have been this takes a lot more work than i ever thought it would yeah because <laughs> so. now you're not only trying to get paid with what you already done mm -hmm. for the main show but you're all right. <laughs> create new extra content exactly for that too as well. exactly yeah yeah so it's it's a lot um and that's what's hard because in general people mm -hmm. start podcasts and already say wow this is a lot more than 
I ever expected. Yeah. So they're saying that about podcasting in general. And that's what's a little bit hard about having a podcast business. There's usually, there's clients who drop out. I guess that happens to, to everybody, yeah. but who really are overwhelmed with podcasting. And then you have to actively seek out new clients <laughs> because you've yeah. lost the client. Um, but there are people who get overwhelmed with podcasting to begin with. So I would say, I don't, I wouldn't advise having a Patreon in your first year of podcasting yeah. unless you're, unless you don't have a job and you can <laughs> commit so much time or something. But um, taking that on right away and podcasting in general, if you've never done it, that's a lot. I, I don't recommend it. Okay. Yeah. Don't do it. Just my Not opinion. in your first year. <laughs> Not so that's, a, that's an interesting point about, you know, listenership and like gaining an audience and building up a fan base, that type of mm -hmm. thing. And so for you, your uh, you went with Burden. You knew that it was going to have so many episodes, um, mm -hmm. right? You're like you're looking <laughs> off in the distance. Oh um, um, yeah, no, I was know, looking you know, at that beautiful. <laughs> the studio here is pretty, and oh, so I was just. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. not. There's but I am listening to you as you uh, ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, the you knew it was going to be like it's not going to be you know an ever going sort of. Mm -hmm. Series. I mean, you may have different seasons, limited, but yes. you know that this particular story that you were telling was mm -hmm. going to have to end at some point yes. to catch up to modern times. Yes. Um, and then one of my favorite events that I've been to was mm -hmm. your your kickoff, your launch party. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you that enjoyed it. That was awesome. I was really nervous about that. I, I didn't wish, know how people were going to respond. No, no, no. I um, wish more so. people did that because I was like, this is okay. incredibly original. It was fun. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed like it. You, that I means mean, a you lot. hit all the boxes for me. Where like I kept getting yeah. surprised. We're like, okay, now we're gonna play the first episode for you guys to listen yeah. to. And it's like, you get a huge room full of like e eclectic group of people that are sitting around in the fun. room that were sitting there, you know, very yeah. quietly and just listening over yeah. the speakers. Yeah, I definitely recommend a launch party. It's one of those things where you can directly connect with you know mm -hmm. your audience. And um, we did a lot of trade for that. Like for example, the, the venue was The Nest. So yeah. it was, let us use your venue, which is normally a couple hundred dollars. Um, and you can advertise on Burden. So they were our sponsor. Then some of the food yeah. that was served was also trade. So that's a way that sure. you can do things like that. You don't have to have a large budget, just approach someone. And that's why a trailer is important. Cause it's okay. like, okay, this is what the show is gonna be Gives about. Them, yeah. The audio quality is decent, <laughs> you know, things like that to show that you're Legit. That's amazing. <laughs> and then you can have um, trade. Trade is a big thing so if you don't have chip. any money. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, bargaining, bargaining chip. chip. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're like, I need that. Here, I'll give you this. You give mm -hmm. me that. Exactly. That's, yeah. That's pretty incredible. And that's um, a big part of my, sorry, I didn't mean to not interrupt please. you. But that's this a isn't big about you. <laughs> I, I have a habit of talking over people and keep going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. You got to no. tell me to shut up and please give me answers. No, yeah. absolutely not. Yeah. Um, but a big thing about podcasting is the trade and is connecting with other podcasters. And I talked about that earlier with promo swaps and feed swaps, but if you're connected with other podcasters who can promote your show, mm -hmm. that's a way of, you know, if you have a marketing budget of zero, it's still excellent marketing. So there are always trades um, sure. that you can do that'll grow your show if you don't have a marketing budget at all. So, that's yeah. great. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Connections, they matter. Connections as matter. I, as yeah. I know, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So when you were putting out uh, Burden, how many episodes in were you before you started seeing an actual, I mean, you probably had like a f quite a few listen in the beginning, but now you're up to 200,000. Yeah. I know that for yeah. a fact, I was there, there was not 200,000 people in that room. No, no. there wasn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. So when did you see <laughs> an up uptake in like your, your listenership? Um, so at first it was all Texarkana, Arkansas. Um, but then when it, we were featured in Apple's new and noteworthy and that helped a lot. I think. Really? Yeah. Um, and it's just people searching for true crime podcasts, making sure you put your, you know, you put your podcast in the true crime category yeah. and we put it in the documentary category. Okay. Um, so the number one place that people find more podcasts is in a podcasting app. Um, there's always that like, yes. you may also like, right. Um, and I think that's that's how we we got people. Um, but it was the community of Texarkana. <laughs> really, um, we had a large listenership there that lasted yeah. for like the first two episodes. Well, it lasted for the whole season. But it was once like the second episode came in, it was like people in Chicago were listening to this. People yeah. in Singapore, like this is random. But um, they were finding us in a podcasting app, I assume. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Well, it makes sense. I mean, we watch plenty of documentaries about crimes that happen mm-hmm. elsewhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. I was watching one last night on Netflix <laughs> <laughs> about a guy in the 90s, completely off topic. Uh, <laughs> but it'd be, it'd be a great podcast if he wants to start this. Yeah. Um, there was a kooky guy back in the 90s who was uh, illegally uh, importing Pez dispensers. Oh, wow. Uh, it's like random, collector, but they were collector items, super rare Pez dispensers, and okay. it's like it was, it was like they're so rare uh, that like he would have to go to the shadiest places. He would like go on a dirt road in Serbia and just meet like this militia that w- that had yes they would. Is have, that worth it? That would have, <laughs> I, I guess know, it was to him. Got shot at several times in different places, but yeah, a had Pez dispenser. A Pez dispenser. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, he just started collecting them and uh, then started bringing them into the U.S. And that's when he got in trouble for it because uh, <laughs> right. legally Pe- the company Pez was the mm-hmm. only one authorized to be uh, an importer of Pez dispensers. Interesting. And so, yeah, it was crazy. They, they ended up letting him go and he made millions of dollars off of this Pez uh, that he was sold Gosh. that was super rare and an okay. incredible story. I was like, that wow, I'm on a way. really I didn't interesting this. story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I've heard so few, so many stories like that um, mm-hmm. not through you know, podcasts. You yeah. know what I mean? Where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna listen to this. Yeah. Um, I particularly like. I don't know. I'm I'm really into like you know, video game and media and, mm-hmm. and, and movie reviews and that type of stuff. And so yeah. I, I've got my few that I listen to there. But then yeah. also with, like the scripted. Um, paranormal type of uh, mm-hmm. podcast, which yes. we have some yeah. in Arkansas. That I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those are fun. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I'm sure, like, the difference between scripted and just what we're doing right now, mm-hmm. huge difference, right? Absolutely. Um, in the time that it takes, <laughs> that's there's a big thing, and that's what I always ask clients to say, I want to do a podcast, and I say, is it an interview show or um, a narrative show? Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a huge difference between sitting down and talking and mm-hmm. going out in the field and doing 20 interviews and sure. coming back and writing a script. Yeah. So um, there's... Yeah, there's a big difference. Not that this doesn't take a lot because it does. Okay. But narrative podcasting is um, it's a lot of script writing, a lot. Like you, yeah. Yeah. So, what's your favorite kind of client? Um, the scripted my favorite or the ones that are just talking? Scripted because of my background in journalism. Okay. I love it. Um, I like it when people hand me all this raw footage, um, audio footage, video footage, and say, do something with this. I like looking for the characters. I like looking for the story arc. That's just me. And I I love um, writing little cliffhangers at the end of every episode that, like, Uh, you know, here's an additional layer you're going to find out. Um, The Staircase documentary, do you know which one I'm talking about? Like on Netflix, the the woman, the wife that fell down the stairs. And, yeah, yeah, they did an amazing job. I loved seeing what they did in terms of, like, on the next episode, this is coming up, and it's like a whole new layer of, oh, wow, okay. Oh, my God, so yeah, maybe I so love bad. writing maybe that kind of <laughs> Yeah, I know. It was, and then it was like, wow, yeah. that's that's really messed up. I was like, oh, man, this is about to end now. Then yeah. it's like, then she found, find out in the next episode. Yeah, exactly. Like, and you're oh like, God. oh, it's 1 a.m. I don't have time yeah. for this. Yes, I do. Yeah. So, yeah. But Pretty much. Well, I love fun. creative writing. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So. Um, and that's one reason I went into podcasting because I was writing a lot of mm-hmm. um, scripts, obviously, and it was public radio, so writing scripts for public yeah. radio. And then I listened to a podcast um, called Young Charlie, which is about Charles Manson. I don't know if you've ever Young <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> it is called Young Charlie. Oh my god! So I was like, okay, I'll give this, you know, a whirl. Actually, um, it's not a someone told on me to. <laughs> it sounds like a <laughs> right? Young yes. Charlie. No, Charlie, and we're talking about Charles Manson. <laughs> um, and so I turned it on, and they did a really neat thing. There's two hosts, a man and a woman, and one represented Charlie okay. Young, Young Charlie. Sure. We get insight into, you know, how he grew up, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then one represented present-day Charlie, which is, like, the, the tr- you know, trial and, like, the murders mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, and so they switched between these hosts, and it was written in a really cool way in terms of, like, you could tell it was really thought out. Um, and then you associated the man's voice and the woman's voice with the different periods in his life. Okay. And I was like, you can do this. That's really neat. That's and I, it's just something I'd never thought about. So it's like, okay, you can be like way more creative with storytelling. Yeah, yeah. And that was cool. That was like, okay, I, w- I want to be a part of this <laughs> rather than just like news <laughs> reports all the time. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Young Charlie. Fascinating. Check it out. It's really good. I will. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> will. I'm like, oh, sounds interesting. Yeah. I have to do that. Um, 
yeah, the, the, the possibilities are endless. Like I said, it's pretty much mm-hmm. the wild west right now. Where like every everybody yeah. has a voice. It's it's free to use, free to upload, free to. I mean, mm-hmm. they really have no excuse unless you just absolutely do not have any time. Yeah. You know. Or if the technology is like really intimidating, but yeah. I don't think it's a big sure. investment to ask somebody to help you with that. So I think yeah. that's okay. But some people are like, what is an RSS feed? I don't know what's right. a hosting company. Well, that's why so you exist. Still that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would love to help anyone who has questions about that and get it set up. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So can they, from top to bottom, start a podcast and have all the things done that they need? Marketing, the distribution, all that with you? Like with me? Um, yes. I only take on a certain number of clients. I'm really, really careful about that. Um, so that I know I can dedicate the time yeah, to so get to clients. Yeah. yeah, and so when we have our first meeting of what you know they need from me, mm-hmm. I always plan. Um, okay, this client needs this, and it will probably take this amount of hours. Um, so yes, they can. Um, if I'm, you know, if all clients like are giving me, you know, at sixty sure. hours a week or whatever, then no, I'm not taking clients currently. Um, but yes, they they can and. That's I like being able to offer a, an all-in-one solution. That said, if there's something um, like I wanted to come up with a podcast logo, and I was just stuck, and so I contacted <laughs> someone that I worked with at Stone Ward, a marketing company, yeah, yeah. and I said, I need you to do this because otherwise, I will look at this podcast logo with every episode that's that's uploaded and be like, oh, that could have could have been better, better. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll drive me nuts. Um, and so he helped, and he helped tremendously and now I love the logo so I you know I while I am an all in one one stop shop if there's something I can't do for the client that I want to do I'll absolutely pull in somebody else very cool so yeah Good. So yeah, it was just the the templates. Like you can go on. Was it the Canva? Like they have the yeah, template they of have the icons for your your podcast. Right, and, and you can just so drop generic. in your. Yeah. Yes, they are generic. So it's like a pair of headphones and an, an old style microphone. Yes, here. yes, exactly. Yeah. And I think at first when people weren't using those templates as much, it mm-hmm. was okay. But now that everyone's yeah, using it, you're not standing well, out you, in the crowd. You can't tell it's the like, difference between exactly. one and another because of exactly. that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, where do you hope to go? This is 2023. Mm-hmm. You're still podcasting, mm-hmm. right? You're not yes. working anything currently, right? Are you? Uh, oh. Burden season two, but I need funding. What? So okay. um, I need either grant funding or um, like to partner. I need a partner, like a media partner yeah. maybe. And I have some meetings coming up. So hopefully That's something fantastic. happens. Yes. Um, and so, because, you know, like I said, the last season was free. I mean, I worked for yeah. free. I can't do that again. I can't afford to do that. Mm-hmm. So um, I need someone to kind of say, okay, season one was good. Um, and kind of, you know, get some upfront costs and yes. then pay, pay off later. Yeah, for sure. Um, so looking for that, I would love to do that. But I need to find someone to partner with um, or a grant. Um, and I, I hope to one day my dream would be to partner with um, a major like like a Wondery or a Lemonade Media mm-hmm. <laughs> or something yeah. and learn from them. One cool thing from having clients, a lot of my clients, not a lot, some have marketing companies that they work with. Sure. And so I'm working with them in terms of promoting as well. And I like seeing what the different things that various marketing companies do because it makes me better, yeah, you know, yeah. or I can make it a judgment call. I'm like, well, that seems to work better for this. <laughs> yeah. um, so I like to be involved with, with a lot of different ways to do podcasts and then find mm-hmm. my own way <laughs> that I personally think is best. So, um, but yeah, I want to I wanna partner with Wondery on Burden Season 2. Nice. There it is. <laughs> Put it out there in the universe. It's gonna yes. Now. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. I hope so. But <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> That's really thinking big. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but something like that would be my dream. I love narrative podcasts, but I also mm-hmm. still interview shows where people can express sure. their opinions are good too. And do yeah. you, and like somebody in your position, do you think that something like a Kickstarter would be beneficial or? Would it be, be another time-consuming task that you couldn't put your time to? Of course, I'm going to answer, well, if you put out a trailer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you have to give people a reason right. to donate. So if you spend the time doing that and doing it well, sure. then, yeah. Um, but you probably need maybe a little help on how to do that well. And I've seen some so. some companies that, are, that do that, you know, and they'll have, you know, as long as they have the, the listenership, like you said. Mm-hmm. And then as long as you're subscribed to that feed, like, yeah. even if that season of the show is over, 
they'll upload, hey, don't miss out on this. And hey, yeah. we're, kick, we're we got a Kickstarter going right now for this, this, right. this, this, and give you like right. a little snippet preview. Yeah. But it, it comes up as a new episode in your feed or yes. your podcast. You know, yes. It's like, that's very yeah, interesting how they do that. That's how they do it, absolutely. Um, in our last episode of Burden, we did kind of a call out um, for people to donate to the next season. It wasn't terribly successful. It was like people we knew who were so sweet. <laughs> They're okay. like, here's some money. Yeah. Um, but that didn't work very well That's for us specifically. Yeah, I know. Business. It's yeah. like, I, I support you. I'm yeah. your, you know, I've been yeah. your friend for 30 years. It's cool. So, but if you can get people, if you can produce a professional trailer or make the case for mm -hmm. funding. Um, and a lot of times it's like, well, we did season one. And if you enjoyed that and thought it was a good, you know, good quality, then maybe support us for future content. Yeah, for so. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to add to this one? Anything else? Um, I don't think so. I'm excited for our cast. And um, like I said, and I know you're a very humble person. It's funny. Whenever someone compliments you, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, or I feel like, like I've seen people compliment you and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So enough about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to say. That <laughs> I, I notice things about you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. I thank you for taking the initiative for starting something like our cast because that's really cool and someone needed to and all it takes is someone doing it and you did it okay. <laughs> so well, and what's funny that. is someone said yeah there's this podcast you know convention are you gonna be at it and I was like no oh, they haven't invited me yet and I don't want to invite myself you never to the told party. me that I, I didn't want to invite myself to the party that was before I asked you yeah and so then you contacted me I didn't me. even know you guys were out there until I, I looked around and I don't remember how I even found Power of the Pod yeah. but I ended up coming across it and then I contacted Great you directly right? yeah it is yeah yeah for sure it worked yeah yeah. And I contacted you, and I was like, yeah. hey, I think you guys would be perfect for this. Mm -hmm. But you mm -hmm. already knew about it? I didn't even know. There were some that. people at public radio that said, yeah, there was this guy, and I didn't know your name or who you were. <laughs> but he was talking about, like, this podcast festival, so you yeah. should, like, talk to him. Maybe you can be part of that. Yeah. But it was funny. I was shy. I was like, I don't want to invite myself to the party, so maybe he'll contact me. So I was happy when you did. Like, yeah. that That was cool. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I guess I needed have. you to okay, reach well, out before out anyway. I reached yeah. out. So. But um, our cast is exciting. I hope that we can, you know build this Grow it. for yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. yeah, definitely need some help <laughs> planning this mm -hmm. year. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd like to do Absolutely. it. You know, some things we learned from last year uh, yeah. where the timing was a little too tight. Um, mm -hmm. And then probably yeah. somebody else to come in and, and host it this time. Yeah. Like be the actual to speaker. Help. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that way I can be free to go around and do all the other things. And yeah. like, that's just not my forte anyway. Yeah. Being, I could sit here and talk to you on this. Yeah. But like me being in front of a huge crowd, that's a completely that. different arena. It is. Yeah. It is. Having yeah. to demand the attention. If uh, mm -hmm. you guys can pause and stop or whatever, click out of this anytime you want to. But like right. when you're in front of a whole crowd and like you're trying to make it entertaining for them, but also yeah. engagement. And it's like, yeah. You hold out the microphone to them and like you don't hear anything back and like well that was embarrassing um, <laughs> on to the next thing yeah, yeah and it was a content packed event which i tend to do too i when i'm doing events i'm like okay we need like seven people to speak yeah. um and then it's like we really could have had to but it was a content packed event so i imagine that you got very tired after. i mean it would you oh, know. it's exhausting yeah, yeah. It, it's performative emotions mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah right exactly exactly so, so um i, well, think I, still, I still learned i felt still i felt like i was in the audience yeah, yeah. a lot of the times whenever yeah. Like you guys were up there talking and uh, asking the questions, and I'm like, I'm just like sitting there listening. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to come up with another question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, but like what you were saying, it was like, yeah, this is it. I don't know. And you've got a cadence to your oh, voice cool. that is very very cool, and like Thank it, you. it's very calming. Mm -hmm. I, don't know if I you can practice kind that. Of, well, it's just from anchoring, and when you anchor early mornings, you have to. Sometimes you're talking, but you don't even realize you're talking. Yeah. You've got the script in front of you, and yeah. you're like, I'm so tired. So it's kind of just keeping the the conversation going um, is what I try to do. Although I don't know, I'm not great at it. I'm fine with sitting in a broadcast studio and talking to eighty thousand people a week. Um, but being in front of them is totally different. And a lot of people yeah. don't understand that about me. I'm actually really shy and very introverted. Oh, okay. um, yeah, I just pretend not to be yeah. sometimes, but I, I'm actually, yeah. So they're always like, well, don't you love public speaking? Aren't you good at it? No, yeah. not at all. People are in the crowd and I'm like, oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's people. Like I, there's more yeah. accountability. <laughs> if you look at them and they seem really bored, it's like, I should probably say more interesting things. Or something like That's, that. It's necessary. It's a necessary evil. You know, it is. Like, it is. You know, I'm an introvert too, and so like yeah. my, my somebody came up to me uh, a few weeks ago, and they were like, "Hey, you're my favorite fake introvert," and I was like, "That's a great way of putting it. Thank you." <laughs> and I was like, "It's 
turn it away. You, you are just acting. You're an actor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, yeah. okay, I need these things to happen. And so I was like, all right, feel that rolling for a minute. Yeah. Like you were at the, uh, even the, the convention itself or your, your kickoff party where yeah. it was just you and Stephanie mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> standing yeah, in front yeah. of this huge crowd and addressing all it these people cool. yeah. who were very tightly squeezed up to the stage, right. I guess. No, I appreciated yeah. it. I, I watched the video and I saw, yeah. like, you introduced us. And then you, I was going to be the first speaker, and you're like, so, um, tell us about your background. And I was like, hi, I'm Karen Stewart. I have a podcast called Burden. Like, yeah. I didn't answer your question whatsoever. Oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it was just funny. So I was like, today when I'm, you know, right now when I'm with you, I'm going to try to focus on answering yeah. questions. Yeah. But sometimes I just start talking. That's um, the best kind of answer, though. <laughs> like, that's what, it was, supposed to, it was already on your mind, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and you had just done a workshop teaching yeah, other people yeah, yeah. how to do which was really neat podcasting. because there were a lot of Arkansans there that were like this is my <laughs> idea and the ideas were great um, and like libraries that wanted to start podcasts yeah. so um, I hope that some of those people since have gotten some good information yeah. and have started for sure so I've seen there's a lot of like media sources that are local that have started mm-hmm. when I was collecting yes. the database you yeah, know, yeah. Like, especially like um, Arkansas Online and mm-hmm. the Gazette even has several mm-hmm. of them uh, library, of course, uh, NPR records everything that they put out and right. releases it as a podcast. It is much easier when you're doing public radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? say, I'm going to upload this as a podcast. Yeah. yeah, and public radio kind of started podcasting for that reason, for that obvious reason. Um, just saying we're going li- to give listeners on demand because broadcast, you Why have to be not? there a certain yeah, time of day. Yeah. It's like if you're not in the car and you're working, then you can't listen to it. Um, yeah. So on-demand audio is absolutely, it's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the way we interact with any kind of media, like mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. TV shows. It's like, exactly. it's going to be on my time, whatever yeah. I want to watch. And yeah, with YouTube, it's like, I have to watch this commercial. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Because I'm so spoiled. Oh my gosh. Not have to do I that, took my so. daughter to, I think it was one of the first times I took her to a hotel, yeah. and she could not understand why she couldn't skip past the commercials. <laughs> and <it was laughs> right, basic right. Cable in the, same in the room. here, same here, yeah. yes. And I was like, yeah, this is a different time and era here. Yeah, <laughs> i got to explain absolutely. this to you. Yeah. And then it, it was the exact same with my daughter, and then she starts like, saying the commercials or saying mm-hmm. the things that are on the commercials <laughs> and you're like okay that's the other side of it now it's in her brain because yeah. she's had to watch yeah. it. and she's talking about these brands or whatever but um she has a fake youtube channel um you know or she yeah. records videos oh, so and it's pretends private. yeah well so what i mean is like she records videos and okay. pretends it, that they oh, are on youtube this. like she has this channel and everyone watches it but it's so cute to like All right, click guys, and subscribe <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I'm like you're the cutest thing ever um yeah she does gaming though for for real like the kids are having gaming channels um and we have strict rules on that in terms of like you do not give your name you you're not on camera ever like yeah. it's it's your gaming screen yeah. Oh, yeah, and you're sure. talking about yeah. it um so she really enjoys doing that but yeah, we have strict rules on that. But I like it when she records kind of fake YouTube videos, and it's like, okay, see you next week. Yeah, <laughs> like, mine does the scary makeup, but cute <laughs> makeup tutorials and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So she does all that. I put her on the VR. Um, oh, this was something I was gonna bring up to you. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I've got a, a video I recorded, and I'm gonna do the whole you know, the whole thing on it. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. write an article on it. But so. I dove into the virtual reality metaverse. Yeah, know? yeah. So I, I got the uh, Oculus, or the, it's, it's not Oculus anymore, it's MetaQuest. MetaQuest 2. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love technology. Yeah. I've been dreaming of VR since I was a little kid, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. We're, we're finally at a point where it like, it kind of, it's coming around. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've only had one thing make me seriously nauseous, and that was I'll be on a roller coaster that was a shooter. <laughs> and I'm like, no, oh like I laid on my bed and it was like such vertigo. I couldn't move or anything. I oh, felt wow. so sick to my stomach all night long. They gave yeah. you the experience at least, I guess. Yeah, right? Well, that's, Thanks, that I paid for terrible. that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I paid to feel this way. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> But uh, the metaverse, you know, that Zuckerberg mm-hmm. was explaining, was you being able to create your own social profile. You go in and like you're right. interacting with people, just like you're right here. Mm-hmm. I would see your avatar, and it's like it feels like that you're you're, you're near me um, at this distance. Sure. Okay. So yeah. First, that was really awkward for me because yeah. I was going to these rooms, and I was like, it, you know, the introvert in me came mm-hmm. out again. Like, yeah. I'm used to doing this, and yeah. like being able to push my way through. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but like in like crowds in, in in person, but it like it was like a whole different I don't know layer of that where like I felt like oh man I do not want to run into this guy. It's like I was just 
sliding across the wall. <laughs> I mean, trying not to touch anybody, even though that couldn't feel. Why it. was yeah, it? Do you I know why it was different? I don't know. You know okay. what I mean? It's just something in, in real brain. life, you're you know, yeah, yeah. like you said, you you know how to kind of keep going and talk to people. But see, that's how I am naturally. So like, yeah. I, I've had to train myself over and over oh. the years is to be able to talk to you like this. I wouldn't. Okay. I dropped out of college because I had anxiety of meeting new people. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't even step out the door. Oh okay, my so goodness, yeah, that's we're at that. What is that but point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you, I don't so understand you, like Tyking. Now you're like, I'm gonna go because a lot of your business is based on um, in person yeah. like, communications and, and stuff. right, right. So I don't understand you because if you were like that and call it, that's I mean, all you've that. trained yourself, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, I guess you've trained yourself, like yeah. you said. Well, yeah. I enjoy it on some level. Like it's mm -hmm. it's fun. That's it, good. It is fun. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But I'm and. Naturally, I'm an introvert on the inside, and so yeah. when it came into that, you know, being able to slide around somebody else's, uh, you know, their avatar, yeah. like it just felt weird. It's like I don't want to touch you, and this is strange. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, uh, some people get too handsy on in the metaverse, oh, and weird. like that's a whole thing. And I'm like, you, oh, that wow. doesn't. Have you created your uh, avatar on uh, Facebook? You know, the one where like you make a post and you can make it through the ducks. Or yeah, whatever yeah, or something. yeah. So that's what you look like inside of there, right? Okay. So I was like, man, there's nothing attractive about these things. Why? Are you, <laughs> I, I don't get it. And like they're stalking. But anyway, so it's weird. Mm, yeah. There's a whole nother layer of just weird and creepiness there. Right. But always. one of the interesting things uh, that I found was that you can create different worlds inside of, um, uh, it's called Horizon Worlds. Mm -hmm. um, and some people have decided to make their own worlds which is like hmm, i don't know how to put it in like real world measurements but it's a pretty fairly sized you know uh mm -hmm. land room whatever you might call it i don't okay. know maybe two, yeah. two acres of land how about that yeah but it's, okay. it's digital right yeah um and so people are creating cool. their own studios just like mm -hmm. this okay um and they're just li in their living room. They don't have to spend a dime because they're building a digital. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, studio. Yeah. Going in and recording live episodes of their podcasts. That's awesome. With other guests from around the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Their avatar yeah. sitting here. Their the other one mm -hmm. sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because we're in prox close proximity, you know, I can hear right. you. And so if I start recording. Then we can go ahead and have a full conversation, and I've got that podcast. That's really neat. So and that's using technology for good, right, and not creepiness. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, that's and there was great. even there was some the one I really liked was had a, a glass wall in front of it where there was like an uh, bleachers for an audience where they can go yeah. out there and sit and watch. But you know the settings were set to where anybody that talked on the other side of the glass you couldn't mm -hmm. hear on the inside of the glass, and oh, wow. so it was already soundproofed. Yeah. So you could come and watch people record live. Yeah. On the podcast, if you and want to. And not interrupt them. And not interrupt uh, them at all yeah. or anything. Okay. That's neat. People love live recordings and Super being there. Super so interesting. That's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. I just yeah. thought that was a weird well, term. I need to, that's the technology. future of podcasting, yeah. and I, I need to, to know more about it, so I'll be contacting <laughs> Stop you. Buying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop buying a super expensive <laughs> studio and just, like <laughs> just do it yeah, that that's way. It. That's it. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, I thought that was uh, incredibly interesting, and it's kind of a weird, I don't know, it's easy to market, I guess, because mm -hmm. you can you can download uh, well, the video itself. Yeah. You have the audio, um, yeah. and then it's just mastering that. So wow, yeah. Any thoughts That's on that? Cool. I you just think it's cool. <laughs> You're yeah, like, I like it. use technology <laughs> yeah. for good. I mean, even things like like AI. Um, mm -hmm. It's amazing what you can do now. Yeah. And scary because I mean, like for somebody like me yes. too, like you can upload a a file, for example, like into um, Descript. I don't know if you've heard mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And it does all kinds of it's things. Like copywriting that, like, AI, right? Uh, what? Copywriting. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yes, yes. Um, it's it's even more than copywriting. You can paste the like. Okay, so you get the transcript. Uh -huh. And if you want to move something, you paste it, but it moves the audio too. So you do not need to know how to edit. You what? just need to know how to okay. cut and paste. Oh yeah, super yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so and it creates like little snippets for for social media and yeah, stuff yeah, or just your episode. Like if you want to edit it and you have no really? knowledge of like um, so what editing it takes software. the us and ums out or what does it do? There is a feature where you can do like file, and one of it is take the us and ums out, and you can say like but keep two seconds in because you know sometimes like when you do the um and you take it out it's yeah. like everyone's talking really fast all of a sudden and it's weird so it has all kinds of features so i, I am not <laughs> afraid of ai um but i think it's cool <laughs> like things like that will give us the next level up in terms of like okay you don't have to worry about this now so let's do marketing let's yeah. do bigger and better things yeah um, so i i am all about like using 
AI and, and VR, yeah. even Modern though tech, I don't know yeah. that much about it yet, um, to step up your game. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So those are good tools. Yes. Because there's like a big uproar in like artists, especially right now, where if you've seen this, with the, uh, the AIs that are be able to create images u- using text, like you say, uh, I want you know a knight standing on a, a sea cliff. You know what I mean yeah, in yeah, France yeah. and Absolutely. like yeah. red bandana tied to his arm. That type of thing. You right. know what I mean, and it generates yeah. that. But mm-hmm. it's based off of so many copywritten uh, other pieces of art. Yes. That it note that's pulling from, and so a lot of yeah. artists are anti AI because it's stealing. Well, it's it <laughs> does. It artists are usually the ones who get. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, so, yeah, yeah, visual yeah. arts. I mean, that's, I mean mm-hmm. people are just visual, and I think it was just inevitable we're going to come to this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, I saw there's a software where you can, like, basically you stand in front of a screen once, yeah. and then you talk, and it gets used to your voice, yeah. and then you can make any training video right. <laughs> you want. See, that's that using on. it for good. There you go. So, yeah. That's uh, what I was, I was explaining to somebody the other day. I was like, because this thing with AI and art, it mm-hmm. kind of it brings back an image to me of you remember uh willie wonka in the chocolate chocolate factory mm-hmm. or was it charlie uh, which one was the older there's one? two different uh willie wonka I that was willie wonka i think yes. was it charlie and the child i don't, I don't know. know i don't anyways, know anyways but cool the tim yes. burton one the yes, most yes. recent one yeah. anyways how his dad lost his job at the factory putting toothpaste caps on the toothpaste bottles because they had a machine that came in and started putting the toothpaste uh, in the exactly, exactly but then he got a job being the technician for that machine for that, and exactly, so we've yeah. got to figure out a way for artists to be able to do that mm-hmm. it's inevitable to that adapt. your pieces are going to be used yeah right yeah, for sure. exactly exactly and yeah. so yeah it's the same thing in the tv world i knew like tv producers who worked with the systems, but then it's like, oh, they're automated systems now, so you don't yeah. need these people, like actual people doing that. Who needs um, humans? Yeah. yeah, who needs humans? But <laughs> the good side of that, there, are, there's a lot of bad, but the good side yeah. of it is like, then let's step up the content game rather than like focus on, you know, cutting mm-hmm. and pasting files. So yeah, yeah. Exactly. technology, good most of the time. Te- well, yes. If you use it can, for good. It can be used <laughs> for good. Let's put it that way. There yeah. you go. Yes, yeah. that's accurate. It's uh, <laughs> it can be used for by good. default. It is neither good nor bad, but can be used for either. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mind blown. No, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> That's the conclusion we came to. It's, it's right. It can be used for good, people. Yeah. You can do good things. <laughs> but yeah. yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, Karen, anything else you want to uh, promote besides Power of the Pod? We've talked a lot about mm, that. And yeah, I feel like I've gone. Hopefully, I've kind of babbled on for quite a while. No, um, you're fine. So. I just I, I come back to our cast. I didn't know like you surprised me with. So this is going to be a separate podcast from your healthy business podcast. Yeah. Oh wow, very yeah. cool. I didn't know that. Yep. I just want. That's why she's not here. Your co-host. Yeah. <laughs> just she's like, did she just not want to come in? Oh no. <laughs> no, I went because yeah, like I said, the podcasting thing. I felt like I knew her because yeah. I listened to your podcast before. So which is creepy but funny but cool. All those things. I know, but we kind of get these um, relationships with people we listen to a lot, and you're like, oh, they're yeah. my friends. And like, you never met this yeah, before. And you know, no, yeah, 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 exactly. So. Um, but yeah, okay. this is purely to talk to other podcasters about podcasting. I love it. And I love yeah, it. I thought you were the perfect candidate for the first one. I mean, since you cool. not only are a podcaster, but you help yeah. plenty of them uh, put their own yeah. you know, podcasts off. So there, we'll do so. promo swaps on this podcast. Podcasters, listen to this, and yes. we will talk about your podcast. Yes. Um, Arkansas podcasters. Also, yeah. we'll have a jar. Like, how many times? Uh, can you guess how many times we said podcast in this podcast? You know, <laughs> yes. Guess how many is <laughs> in the jar? A little bell that goes yeah. like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. For yeah. sure. No, this is cool. Um, we need to market it in the right way, and it's going to be awesome. Okay. I'm going to take your <laughs> advice on that one, yeah. <laughs> no, you've got ideas. You the whole, like, just featuring Arkansas podcast. I do, but like you said, you always learn from other people. Yeah, when, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because yeah. nobody does it the same. Nope. Um, even nope. though you're under the same industry or whatever, everybody yeah. has different ways of doing different things Absolutely. and different perspectives. So. Yep, that's right. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's great having you. Thank you so yeah, much for joining me with this. Yeah, thank you. Um, I always enjoyed talking to you. Yeah, so for sure. it's and for talking and learning out. from you. So yeah, I you've appreciate been it. Helping out with the socials and uh, yeah. for our cast itself it. and giving to the power pod. So yeah. anywhere that we're cool. we can, uh, you know, push business yes. over your direction and get oh. more podcasts going. That's I what always we're doing. appreciate that. Yes, yes. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> like push all the money in my lap. Yes. Yes. Catch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in in business, there's a TikTok video that I saw that it's a girl um, 
who's like she likes a boy and she's waiting for a text yeah um and so she you know says like I've, I've, whatever i'm done with him this is not interesting whatever yeah. and then the text comes in you hear the chime she's like oh never mind <laughs> and that that's what i i felt like um having a business for the first year it's only one year old <laughs> but it's like this isn't going to work this isn't going to yeah. work and then an email comes in and it's like hey i i heard that you were good at this can you do it and it's like okay never mind it's going to work so that kind of business thing is hard um but if you stick with it it's good so that's how i felt oh, over yeah. the past year <laughs> trust like me i know that feeling all too well bipolar or yes. roller coaster or yeah, something right <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. i don't know if it's going to even survive you know past this yeah. month <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like an album nowhere i don't know where it's like oh wow you get okay, a good, good client or yeah then absolutely. that imposter syndrome sort of fades away yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly exactly it's great mm -hmm. yeah um well if you are a, a video watcher on on youtube you probably found this either through the rcast website or through youtube itself um you can also find this as an audio podcast from all the audio podcast uh catching devices and, and platforms such as apple and google we're going to do the listen notes we're going we're going to put that on there <laughs> yes absolutely uh, we learned how to do that um <laughs> also you, yeah sorry i didn't mean to no, go ahead. stitcher's another one that people kind of say like i don't need to submit to yeah but it's a good one so so people yeah. are still using that yes okay good to know good to know yeah i've heard about it for a long time i never used it yeah yep yeah. It's there. All right. Well, if you are an audio listener, you can also catch kind of us as a video on YouTube or on Premium Spotify. Uh, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, leave the, 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 the all the great. things. Yeah, all the we stuff. We want to hear from our yeah. podcasters. We're here for, sure. for you, and it's not just us. It's going to hopefully be a whole collaboration of podcasters yeah. within the state. Yeah. So that's cool. Contact like Power it. the Pod. Contact Karen. You know what I Tell her. <laughs> I just want to hear about what everyone's doing. Tell you doing. Help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll help. I'll, that's I'll how you help anytime. Yeah, exactly. I just want to hear your idea. Just want to yeah. hear. But let me yeah, give you some, some tips it. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's awesome. Right. Uh, you can also catch the uh, our cast video of you being on stage and answering a lot of my questions mm -hmm. that I threw at that you there fun. too. And you put me on stage with someone like okay, Stephanie's cool. She's my co-host, but also the the um, Clint Chef from the LA Times. Yeah, Clint. That was an excellent person to be on a panel with. Mm -hmm. He's so neat and has done so many things. So it was just really cool. To well, hopefully you get involved this year, and I can throw yeah. somebody else at you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's like, do it. Let's make it creative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully you're, you're you're big time, and you're you've been backed by Wonder and <laughs> right. yeah. Yes. Season I'll let you two know. is well in production. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Oh, I hope so. We've got <laughs> yeah. we've got like eighteen ideas, yeah. but um, yeah, no funding yet. So okay, yes, we will but be. Like you said, working. I mean, it can happen out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get an email. Yeah, that's the thing. One day it's like we're never gonna get funding, and the next it's like someone. Agrees. And Before I even process great. this, we're gonna have to tag on an extra little bit and be like, "Well, Carrie got an email after we did the podcast." You know? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I, would, I would love an update. I would love to. We didn't get a chance to put this out there yet. And beg for money yet? Uh, <laughs> exactly. It's very public radio. Like yeah. I have that training of like, if you like this content, please, uh, yeah. you know, donate something. Yeah. So, which is what our last episode. It's like, if you want this high quality journalism, please give us some money. Yeah. Uh, and that that's sincere. Like obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm so used to begging for money <laughs> to create kinda independent content. When you're a creator like this, yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. Did you like it? Give me a dollar. Mm -hmm, I would exactly. like a dollar, please. Thank this you. This will not be backed by the big corporations. It's going to be backed by you. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you just have to. Because you're not going to like me if I get backed by the big corporations. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to think I'm. <laughs> it's going like, to be different content than what exactly, you're used to. Exactly. Exactly. Like. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Well. Great. Like I said, I appreciate having, having you on. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put you in the show notes of like how to get to Power of the Pod and how to contact you. you. Yeah, of course. Right. And, yeah. of course, links to your uh, uh, video we spoke for our cast. And so we're just continuing on those channels. That they're already open. So. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, I appreciate you. Well, until next time, you want to say bye? Bye. All right. Well, oh, bye. God. This I'll is say it with confidence. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening. If you're an Arkansas podcaster, please contact us and let us know. We want to interview you. We want to promote what you're doing. Right. All those good things. All the good things. So, all yes. the good things. We want all yes. the good stuff for you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is normally where I would say keep your business healthy, mm -hmm. but I don't have that tagline because this is the wrong podcast. Keep your podcast healthy. Keep your make your pod podcast healthy. Make, your podcast make a is going to be healthy. <laughs> yes. Contact there it Power is. Pod and your your podcast. Healthy, will be healthy, healthy podcast <laughs> yes. for everybody. It's good. <laughs> all right. Well, until next time. Bye. I'm just gonna say bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>